So you have to verify this function is 1, 1 on 2. How to check this option? You can see 1, 1 means every distinct element has distinct images, right? Okay. So if you consider this function, let us take uh, x square, y is equal to x square. You can draw a horizontal line. It crosses the graph at most one point. Then only it is 1, 1 function. Here you can see if you take less than 0, it is decreasing. If you take more than 0, it is increasing. So definitely this is not completely 1, 1, right? So therefore, you can take here minus 1 plus 1, the two distinct element has same image is coming. Therefore, it's not 1, 1. So first you take this function f of x equal to 2 power x minus 1 by 2 power x divided by 2 power x plus 1 by 2 power x. You can take the LCM and simplify this 2 power 2x minus 1 by 2 power 2x plus 1. Clear? Now you have to rewrite this 2 power 2x minus 1 how to write plus 1 minus 2 you can write 2 power 2x plus 1. You can divide it separately 1 minus 2 divided by 2 per 2x plus 1. Clear? Now you can see this is your f of x. So it's completely increasing function. You can exponential function is always positive. You can differentiate using the quotient rule. Definitely it is greater than 0. The first derivative is greater than 0 means the slope is positive. It is increasing functions. If you draw the horizontal line, it will cross the graph at most one point. So therefore this function is 1, 1 function. So y is equal to 2 power 2x. You can see 2 power 2x uh, minus 1. 2 per 2x plus 1. You can cross multiply y into 2 per 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 per 2x minus 1. You can multiply inside equal to 0. So you can see uh, 2 per 2x you take it out common y minus 1 is equal to you can send to the right side minus 1 and minus y. 2 per 2x is how to write. So, so minus 1 minus y divided by y minus 1 we can write. Okay. So you can see um, if I take minus out y plus 1 divided by, uh, if I take here y minus 1, right? So, you can see 2 per 2x is always greater than 0, right? So, it is same as y plus 1 divided by y minus 1 is greater than 0. You can multiply by minus 1 on both sides. So, y plus 1 by y minus 1 is less than 0. You can use the baby curve method. You can see what are the critical point here, minus 1 and plus 1. So here minus 1 here, it's a plus 1. You can start with a positive odd powers, change the sign, plus minus plus. So you can see here the range of the function here is y belongs to minus 1 to 1. But here the range is given to you. You can see here range is minus 1 to 1. Minus, sorry, minus infinity to 1 is given to you. This is your core domain. But here range we got it, y value is minus 1 to 1, it is fall, right? Therefore, it is not, range is not equal to core domain. Therefore, it's not 1, 1 functions. Therefore, which option is correct? This is one one function, but it is not onto third option is the correct answer.